to Independent Film Talk. I'm Nalita Murray, and today we are interviewing filmmakers from the Holly Shorts Film Festival. Joining me now is Eddie Perez, the co-writer, producer, and director of the short film Test of Time. You've worked on so many different projects, so many different roles. How is it that you came to this short, producing and directing? Um, I kind of got frustrated. I've been trying to do some studio films that, with other producers, and you know, you get to that point, you spend a year of your life trying to do the movie, and it's just not happening and not happening. And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do my own thing. And especially now, the way things have changed in the last five or six years, technology, you can do your own thing and do right. it well. Right. So I was like, I'm just going to do it. Right. Yeah. What does it mean for you to have your film in the festival? It's really cool. I mean, it's, it's, you know, like everybody else, it's such a hard place right now because of technology. I mean, all the festivals are getting three, 4,000 submissions, so to be picked for anything right now, right. you have to be grateful and go, oh my God, wow, I actually got in. And, you know, there's alumni that put their films in because they've been in before, and there's so much going on. So just, you know, I've been fortunate, gotten into two or three festivals, one, the Canadian International Film Festival, I won the Holly Shorts monthly in January, and now supposedly a few others. And I look at it, anybody that's looking at it, it's great. People are seeing it, they're seeing the work, and that's all there is, that's all you can do. So the film, it's called The Test of Time, yes. and there's a theme going on there. Yes. How is that personal to you? We wrote it, uh, Max and I, kind of started thinking about it. Um, I had an accident on a film, and I spent quite a lot of time in the hospital. And that's where it all comes from. And oh. when we were sitting there, we were watching other people and relationships and what it did to them. And we just kind of looked around and said, oh, there's a movie here, isn't there? And it's like, yeah, kind of. So we just started writing and coming up with ideas. And it, it went through you know, some craziness to finally where we honed it down and go, OK, this this will work. And this is kind of a message of, you know, do you really, really know who you're with until something bad happens? Right. I mean, everybody lives a fantasy, but then there's reality. Right. And realities can hit home pretty hard, and we saw a lot of relationships get just torn apart by it. It seems to um, also question, what is your limit for love? Yeah, when well, my parents yeah. were together, you know, their whole life before my dad passed away, and they had never thought about leaving each other, and I always had that instilled in me. Right. So, and then you come to Hollywood to where if you're married 10 years, that's an eternity. <laughs> and you've done, wow, it's like, wow, you've been married 10 years? Oh my God, people faint. <laughs> so it's kind of like a little bit of, you know, that saying something about, wow, people just walk away too easily now. Definitely. So you have worked on um, really big films and um, huge budget films such as um, recently Deadpool, yes. um, Shameless, one of my favorites, Blade, <laughs> um, but a whole bunch. You have a whole list of um, big budget films and TV shows. Yeah. Um, what was it like to have to work on these big budget films and then go to a micro budget independent film? Tough, because I'm used to a lot of toys and doing a lot of big camera moves, and, and that, that was kind of the test for me on this, was just basically I wanted to do just a simple acting piece because people, because I do action, say, oh, can you direct actors? And mm -hmm. we all get that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, I can direct an actor. Jeez. Well, how do I know that? And it's like, well, you know, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and go do it. And that's kind of what I did. And, you know, just did it out of pocket, did everything. It's like, okay, I'm going to, this, I'm really going to test myself. I'm going to go all out. It's going to be me. And this is me putting it all out there. And, you know, coming from an athletic background is kind of like you put it out there right. and see what happens you know it's like everybody's like yeah you put it on the field you know I know people say that but it's kind of like it's a metaphor of like yeah I'm gonna put it out there and see what happens you know it's like this is me do you like it here in LA yeah I like the weather what about the people That can be a challenge. Everyone seems to have an agenda. And that first time I saw it, you know, on screen, I was terrified because all my friends came and I was like, wow, what if this sucks? Wow. And I was like, yeah, I just sit in the back, like cringing, going, oh God, I, I think it's good. I hope it's good, but you, you know, you never know. You doubt yourself. And then everybody's like, oh, wow, it's cool. I was like, really? 
Oof, okay, so it's not embarrassing? Okay, great. So, you know, it's kind of, I think everybody goes through it if they say they haven't, they're liars, you know, because right. <laughs> everybody has that doubt. What is your next project? You know, now that I did the dramatic piece and everybody knows I can do that, I'll go back to doing something fun and action and quirky and just have fun and I'm just going to start shooting stuff and see what comes out of it and I've got a future film I'd like to do. I've got, you know, some webisodes. I think like everyone else, it's like keep your mind going and you throw darts at the wall and see which one sticks first. We've been talking with Eddie Perez. Check out his projects Shameless and Deadpool. Also, his short film Test of Time showing at the Holly Shorts Film Festival. Mm -hmm.